If you're contemplating starting your first steroid cycle, the internet can be a pretty dangerous place. It's hard to find the right information as to what you should use, how you should use it, and what you should expect to get out of it. So in this video, what I'm looking to do is outline some clear information as to what you need to do in advance of and for your first cycle. I'm not advocating or encouraging the use of anabolics. I'm merely giving you some information to you as an individual who may be looking to make that decision. If you choose to use anabolics, you do so at your own risk and knowing the risks associated with doing so. Always consult with a registered doctor before making any decisions that may potentially harm your health. There really is no simple answer to when you are actually ready to start using anabolics. Some people get in the gym and then gym, jump on steroids almost immediately. That for me is pretty dumb. Some wait until they're close to their natural genetic potential. In reality, there's no right or wrong uh, answer here. What I would say, however, is that you need to have all of your key variables locked down first before taking the decision to use anabolics. By that, what I mean is, have you built a good foundation of base muscle tissue? Have you been training for five or so years? Is your nutrition nailed on? And do you see good progress with your current training and nutrition without the use of anabolics? If the answer to any of those is no, there's still plenty of scope for you to build and grow naturally before taking the jump onto anabolics. It really does take a long time to learn your body, how to train effectively and nail nutrition. Without those things in place, you'll still not grow as effectively uh, through anabolics as you otherwise would do and you'll require significantly higher doses to reap rewards, which in turn come with higher risks and side effects associated with anabolic use. Preparation in both your body and mind for the needs of anabolics is a key component to entering the steroid world. In advance of your first cycle, um, you need to be aware of some key factors. Something that anabolics do is increase your glucose sensitivity. So if you're at a high body fat percentage, this is already compromised to an extent, so you may want to lean up a bit first before jumping on steroids. Health markers are really important. If you have any kind of underlying health issue, I'd strongly advise against the use of anabolics. The likelihood is it will only exasperate um, those symptoms and aggravate them by use of them. I would totally recommend getting blood work done and routine medical checkups before use, so you, you know what your baseline is, during use and then after use. We want to establish what your baseline testosterone levels, blood pressure, um, cholesterol levels, etc. are before you take the decision to jump on steroids. <clears throat> if you're based in the UK, there's a company called Medichex. Um, I'll drop the link to them in the description below, but essentially they test for every health marker with the exception of things like your blood pressure, which you can do through a GP. Okay, so this is the juicy bit, and I guess what most people would really want to know. For me, I am an advocate of getting the absolute most from the least amount of steroid use. With higher dosages, you get higher risk factors. So for your first cycle, we want to know what your natural <clears throat> test baseline is and then go marginally above that into an elevated TRT dose. A lot of the first cycles that you'll see online will state 500 milligrams per week of a long guest of testosterone like enanthate or cypionate, um, but your natural levels will be somewhere in the 100 to 150 milligrams range. So why would you take more than triple that for your first cycle? For me, that just doesn't make sense. I would advise on starting low, somewhere between 250 to 300 milligrams per week on enanthate or cypionate. Um, you're still well over your natural testosterone production and will reap great results from small doses. Your next cycle on from that would be going 300 to 350 milligrams per week, depending on what your starting point was, instead of needing 550 milligrams to 600 milligrams per week. You see, the lower that you start in terms of your anabolic consumption, the more you can taper up over time. If you start with 500 milligrams per week, how long is it before you'll start needing to inject a gram a week, two grams a week, um, to see a novel stimulus in what you're actually putting into your body? And when you do start using steroids, it is all a novel stimulus. 
So you will grow with basically anything that you put into your body um, that is over your natural baseline of testosterone production. Hence, why lower doses are still particularly advantageous for longevity and decreasing the risk of side effects. The reason that we choose a long ester is because injecting every day and having more frequent foreign bodies inserted into your body uh, increases risk associated with it. There's the risk of infection, inflammation in multiple injection sites, and really no one wants to inject any more than they have to. With test enanthate, you're looking at a half-life of between five and seven days. So if you inject every five to seven days, that will more than serve purpose. You'll most likely be looking to run for an initial stint of 10 to 12 weeks, and you'll likely only then need to buy one bottle of test to get you through your entire first cycle. Quite similar to the preparation stage, I recommend that you regularly check bloods um, and have health checkups whilst on cycle to ensure that you're being safe and have your health markers within normal ranges. The earlier you're able to catch something out of range, the easier it is to change and get back to normal. So if you stay on top of your health throughout your cycle, you'll be much better when you do eventually decide to come off. And then you come to the end of your cycle, right? So what do you want to do now? There's two options really. So the first is to come off completely and go through PCT or post-cycle therapy. The second is to stay on, but come down to a TRT dose for a cruise and then go back into blasting and cruising when you effectively just stay on gear year round. Ultimately, what you choose to do here is entirely up to you, but essentially it should be driven by your goals and health markers. Health does come first here. If you decide to come off, a proper PCT is completely essential. On the most part, it'll ensure your body reverts to normal levels in terms of test production uh, and kickstart that so that you're not just going straight off a cliff when you come off uh, using steroids. In terms of PCT protocols, what you should be doing uh, is looking at drugs like tamoxifen, uh, Nova, as well as HCG. So guys, I hope you found this video informative. It's kind of a lot to take in, but definitely do your research as much as possible before jumping into the world of anabolics. It's not a decision that should be taken lightly at all, and you need to be as prepared and informed as possible before deciding to jump into using steroids.